Uh, people would look at this. I mean, you know, everybody tries to, to uh, view homeless people as drug addicts and alcoholics and derelicts. It's not the truth. I mean, I know a lot of people like myself. I mean, we just, I found myself in a spot and with health conditions and, of course, with no income, you can't afford to pay rent nowhere. You don't, and a lot of the shelters you go to, are dangerous. They're more dangerous than sleeping out in the middle of uh, the railroad yards and, and being in uh, abandoned houses and stuff. I mean, at least it, uh, I could hear, you know, I could, you know, like a place like this, I'd be fairly safe at night when I was trying to sleep and, and away from the weathers. In a place like this, is we're in, a, we're sta staying in an abandoned house in downtown Nashville for people who can't tell what, what you're surrounded with. I mean, it's not like. As something that you want to do, it's pretty. Matter of fact, being homeless is pretty humiliating because uh, you know uh, you go, you know, like you just not have no money in your pocket and you're hungry, or and you're going down, and uh, you know you got to ask other people, other adults, and here you are, a grown person, you're asking another adult for, for you know, change. You. And How are they treated? I mean, the dangers out here is, 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 you know, you would be surprised on how dangerous it can be out here because you have uh, rednecks, kids or something that think it's cool to go bash a, a, a bum, you know, or something. And uh, But do you consider yourself a bum? No, because I worked. I mean, I kept a regular job and I worked a large part of my life. And, and for you, I mean, when you became homeless, uh, you, you're not the kind of traditional guy pass, uh, pushing the, the shopping cart down the middle of the road. You see people like that here, but in your mind, that's, that's a small percentage, isn't it? About maybe one or two percent.